So Derek's birthday is in March. That's in February? Oh my gosh! No, it's because. we made we asked you if you had any questions for us and you all delivered we had loads of questions come in and so we have chosen just a few because there's so many we will answer the other ones some other time but for today we are going to answer just a few of them so we hope you enjoy this and Derek do you want to take it over all right, so yeah, there were definitely some toughies and some of them that will deserve maybe, you know, a video on their own. Mm -hmm. um, but we chose, I think, about half a dozen um, light, you know, let's just let's just touch base again questions uh, mm -hmm. to get to know us a bit better, too. Mm -hmm. um, so our first question is, what was the biggest shocker going from single to being married? Um, and were there any sort of misconceptions, surprises? Um, or, you know, real adjustment thing. So, babe? <laughs> um, I think for me, mm -hmm. one of the biggest shockers, um, you know, I think when you're single and you think of getting married, you kind of just think that it's just going to flow into married life and then it's just, it's just going to continue going, whereas that doesn't happen. Um, I think for me, the biggest shocker was I had been single for such a long time. And so my name was um, Independent Woman. Like seriously, I would tell everyone that was my name because I loved being independent. I loved doing my own thing. I loved having my own condo. I loved doing what I wanted to do when I wanted to do it. Um, and so when I got married, I, I think that it was just a shocker that I no longer had to be independent, I guess. Now you're a like, big you know baby. I mean? Now you're just like, a you big suck. Like, <laughs> like, like, like you can still be independent. That's not what I mean. But I, I mean like, um, yeah, like there's such blessing in coming together that and and joining that you don't have to be this one person that's just so no. And then you know, someone can fill up your water bottle and heat up your tea yes, for you. Yes, exactly. And... <laughs> so I think the biggest shocker for me was that it was just learning to be married. Like, yeah. like even though I loved it and, and I love being married, um, and we were just so happy to finally be married, um, yeah, it was definitely a shocker for me to have to learn that I now live with someone <laughs> and we share everything. Yeah, I think sharing the fridge was uh, one of my biggest uh, misconceptions. <laughs> yeah, okay. No, um, what about you? biggest shocker, going from single to married honestly again i'd been living on my own for for several years at the time i think five years almost five on and off because i'd moved home after school once so there were a few adjustments um my apartment was about the size of our uh, our kitchen? our foyer right now not yeah. even the kitchen yeah. so i mean you know i was like great my my apartment just tripled in size now um other than that we, 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 it was a pretty smooth process, um, you know, coming together, we were both kind of at the same level of, you know, we're both relaxed people, so that kind of helps. Mm -hmm. um, misconceptions, surprises, um, finding socks everywhere, but I think I covered that <laughs> in another video. I have a tendency to, when I come home, just leave my socks in random places in the house, so he's always finding just socks everywhere. But honestly, I will say it was a smoother process than I anticipated and and that says a lot for 2020 um you know you go back to our last video I think we said you know things we learned in our first year of marriage but honestly it was way smoother than I was expecting mm -hmm. and it was a lot easier and that that was a big blessing yeah um and honestly part of that's she's a relaxed person I'm a relaxed ish person and so that that helps and we really enjoy spending time with each other so yeah. you know um I think there weren't as many surprises as I yeah, thought. Yeah, no, there wasn't. Um, it was easier, and that, that I, I know that's not the case for everyone, but that was a blessing we got too. Yeah, for sure. Enjoy. Question number two, uh, have you, did you guys have any past relationships? Mm -hmm. So you wanna take yeah. the lead? Yeah, um, I shared a little bit this on my video where I talked about hearing the voice of God. Um, but yeah, I had basically one previous relationship when I was younger. 
Um, other than that, uh, I shared like, you know, I liked guys and all that and it just never worked out. God kept telling me no. Um, but before I had learned that from God, I did have um, a previous relationship when I was younger. Yeah, and I, I kind of had one real formal, you know, Facebook official relationship. Um, and I, I'd gone on, you know, um, a few <laughs> a few coffee dates and stuff. But um, honestly, it just, there was a lot of, there's a lot of heartbreak. There's a lot of me looking to figure out who I was in a lot of those um, coffee dates. And, and, you know, probably a lot of girls being like, oh, who's that weird guy? <laughs> you know, a lot of one dates. Um <laughs> So uh, there, there were years where I was still trying to figure out who I was. And I know Terry Lynn talked about, um, you know, being confident in herself and not even looking by the time she met me. And I think that's kind of what it was for me. Um, I, I kind of fell in love every time I got on the bus, I used to say. Um, and so though there was only one sort of formal relationship, there was just, you know, I, I, I hadn't figured out who I was and I uh I was looking for myself in a lot of those relationships and it wasn't till uh till I met Terry Lynn that I ever actually found out uh what I really wanted. Mm -hmm. Um but yeah no and I, that that was my I I had a pretty 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 uh pretty empty track record. Yeah. Um but yeah. Okay, what do you do for a living? Um and how do you balance spiritual life, marriage and careers? So Okay. So um for a living, I am a pastor. Um, I have been in full-time ministry now for about 10 years. Um, so currently, I am a children's pastor. Um, and prior to that, um, I've been a youth, young adult worship uh, pastor. So that's what I do for a living. That's my calling, I should say. Um, and so yeah, and babe. Um, okay, so I am currently a student. I'm studying for my Master of Divinity. Um, and I'm also working part-time with a, an agency, uh, I guess a developmental services, uh, to support adults um, who are born with uh, developmental disabilities. So uh, it's kind of, it's like a group home and we just support adults in, in everything, you know, a, you know, making their autonomous decisions and stuff. So it, it can involve things like cooking, um, cleaning and helping individuals with hygiene routines and honestly um, it's a field I never anticipated being in and I don't know if we've ever talked about it before maybe we will one day mm -hmm. how I ended up it was a bit of God's um, interjecting and interrupting maybe plans I'd had previously I'd just worked uh, I'd worked a lot of uh, restaurant a few restaurant jobs obviously that's where I met Terry Lynn mm -hmm. um, I'd worked cashier everyone's a cashier for their first job um, at the grocery store but uh, yeah, so I, I support adults with uh, varying levels of developmental disabilities, and it is uh, a very tiring job. Uh, my coworkers who do it full time are the real heroes. Um, I do it a couple days a week while I'm not in school, and uh, it's just throughout this pandemic. Again, it's been it's had you know its moments of stress, um, but uh, you know it's just I could spend a whole video talking about how amazing of a job is and how it's a huge blessing. How much? Yeah, it's a blessing. But man, I you know I won't I won't talk about it too much or I'll, I'll tear up. But I, I love the people I get to work with and uh, or you know help support and the things I've learned and that God's taught me are are just incredible. I it's it's there's so much. Anyways, anyways, I, I could go on. How do we balance spiritual life, marriage, and careers? Honestly, with the pandemic, uh, she's been uh, home from work for for several yeah, weeks and working from home back in in spring for a couple of months. Yeah. And so we've had a lot of time together and me again part-time. My school is currently online. Um, and so we have a, a lot of time, downtime together mm -hmm. um, in between in between the now erratic work schedules. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, honestly, it's it's been it's been great. I'm not sure, mm -hmm. you know, where, where we're going to end up in the future. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. Yeah, and so, and when it comes to the spiritual aspect of it. Yeah. Um, yeah, we definitely make sure to have God um, at the forefront and the center of our relationship, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, even outside of, of course, um, my job and Derek's job, um, we always make sure to pray together mm -hmm. um, and look to hear God's voice together. And that's been really fun. Like, and that's been something yeah. we've been practicing since we yeah, got yeah. married, right? It's been, and it's honestly been so fun. Because well, I remember like yeah. we've prayed and asked God, like, 
teach us and show us like because we both hear from God different ways mm -hmm. and so how do we do this as a couple and we've actually asked God for times to give us like little um I guess like not like a challenge but like no, as like a like, but something to us to, to use that. To, to, to learn as a couple yeah. to hear in our own ways, but to complement each other. Almost like a test to like, mm -hmm. okay, you hear God on this your way, I'll hear my way, and then we'll come together and and, and he's provided within like 24 hours kind of yeah. those those opportunities. And there have been several, um, you know, different opportunities throughout this past year yeah. to, to, to discern that separate and together and to even see even on our honeymoon we had that oh yeah right yeah, we did. that was our first like i think test <laughs> it was like a check -a yeah it was yeah. it was really cool that we both heard mm -hmm. god say the same thing yeah. um and so yeah so yeah learning to discern separately together as we may have alluded to we're very different personalities in certain ways yeah. and very similar so the way we've heard and interact with god is very different mm -hmm. but also similar mm -hmm. um Okay, next question is, what do you guys do if one of you wants to do something and the other one doesn't? I love like, that question. You know, go out, stay home. Um. <laughs> I want to know if that person's in a relationship, the one that asks that question. Yeah, Are help. you? Send help. Because that's really cute. Um, what would you say to that? Um, again, it we're helps. Very we're very easygoing. We're pretty, we're pretty we're so easygoing, so like we're like... Either of us are not going to be like, no, I'm not going to do that no. right now. We always compromise. I think compromise is one of the biggest things in marriage, to be honest. Like, mm -hmm. you need to be able to compromise. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, we often just like, well, do you want to do that? Well, yeah, no, there's, okay. there's one thing. What? <laughs> so she really likes this card game called Skip Bow. Oh. <laughs> and I really, you know, it's it, when you're 10 cards, anyone who's plays, I don't know how popular of a game that is, but you're 10 in cards in out of 30. And it's dragging on, and she just turns over Skip Bow after Skip Bow, and it's just, it takes no strategy, strategy except when I'm playing. Uh -huh. <laughs> so there's one of those things that she really wants to do. If I, I really... could play a board game every day of my life, I would be so happy <laughs> okay minus the only three board games i want to play the, this is true okay so now you're seeing the <laughs> we'll talk about this later honey <laughs> but no we're really easy going and so i don't think we've ever had a time minus skippo um that yeah we always just say well let's do this tonight and then another night we'll do that so we like though i do use it as a bit of a bargaining chip sometime i'll say babe you know if you want to do this okay well, i'll play a game of skippo with you if, this you know. is true he does do that i've i've, I've, I've learned that um but no we're pretty easy going and yeah I would just say compromise is key right like yeah I think yeah, we both kind of you know again this pandemic severely limited our options of going out you know you want to go out we, have, we kind of both what you want to say and sure that's all we can do yeah let's watch um, a movie. Let's we go on drives together we do that's one thing we've kind of yeah. consistently done we'll go on walks um, mm -hmm. uh, and again there's not much more we can do uh, yeah. you know sometimes we'll do drive-through and uh, yeah, that's about that's about all we can do right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So again, that's kind of you know circumstantial. Yeah. When are your birthdays, and how did you celebrate each other's birthdays during COVID twenty twenty? So Derek's birthday is in March. It's in February. Oh my gosh! No, it's because it's because it's because. Okay, sorry. Oh my gosh. My husband's birthday is in February. Hello, darkness, smile. It's, I was thinking the pandemic. My brain was thinking pandemic. When did the pandemic start? Babe. Oh. Okay. No, our birthdays are. I'm blushing, baby. I know your birthday. I guess I'm gonna have a pretty small birthday oh, this seven. year. Anyways, um, our birthdays are five months exactly to the day apart. Um, so his birthday is in February. So mine's in August. And uh, <laughs> hers is in August. <laughs> um, yeah, so we won't his... be playing skip bow for a long <laughs> time. <laughs> I was thinking pandemic, anyways. Um, so yeah, so for his birthday in 2020, um, uh, it was his big 30th birthday, so that was huge. So I wanted to make it really special, and it's such a good thing that this happened because literally the next month we were in lockdown. Mm -hmm. So it was like, it was our last gathering that we had. Oh right? yeah, it was, yeah, it was our yeah. last thing that we were able to do with yeah. the other, yeah. <laughs> <You're still laughs> okay, um, anyways. We'll talk about this later, honey. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we, 
Stop it! <laughs> okay. okay. Um, so, for his 30th birthday, I wanted to make it super special. So, I had a plan of um, doing a surprise birthday party um, with our close family and friends. And so, I was so proud of myself for doing this because I am not good at this stuff. Like, I want to tell, like, when I buy someone a gift, I want to tell them what I have for them because I just, I love it. I love giving gifts and stuff. And so when I came up with the idea, like I remember the day that I came up with it and we were just in the kitchen like making supper. I had to leave the kitchen, go into another room and get all my smiles out and like laugh and then go back into the kitchen because I didn't, I knew I was like, if he looks at me, he's gonna know. Like he's gonna look at me and he's gonna know what I did. Um, but anyways, so we had a surprise birthday party for him. It was really fun. He was really surprised. Um, and I actually have a clip, I think, of it. So I'm gonna put it right here. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh my God. So yeah, it was a fun surprise party for Derek. I was promised a lasagna <laughs> uh, at our at some of our good some of our best friends. Yeah. And uh, we show up at the door to well, as you saw in the clip, thirty people or or twenty people. I don't know. Yeah. And uh, and no lasagna. So. Yeah. To lure him, I had told him that we were going over to our best friend's house to have lasagna for supper. And I so was... he was like, "Oh, I'm so hungry. I can't wait for lasagna." The entire time, I'm like giggling the whole drive there, and then we get there, and he still says this day, "I didn't get my lasagna." And I was told there will be lasagna I here. <laughs> okay. Um. And her birthday. Do you know my birthday? <laughs> yes, it was in July, <laughs> so five months after mine. <laughs> Anyways, um. So of course it was, you know, uh, the height of the pandemic. There wasn't much I could do. Of course she was turning uh, 32, so it was a big year. Or 30 as well, so a big year. Yes, I'm not 32. <laughs> uh -huh. um, so how to how to make it special. Um, I think we, we actually did a vlog on this. It might have been our yeah. first vlog. Oh, yeah. I think it was our first our vlog. Our first video so, uh, on here. Go check it out, it's yeah. my birthday. So yeah, it was a surprise trip to one of our favorite places on earth. Uh, my parents used to have a, a, a camp about uh, 18 hours north, and this was about halfway. This was a stop we used to drive through. You know, it's right on Lake Superior. Mm -hmm. So we rented an Airbnb, and it's right on the lake. Uh, and, you know, Lake Superior, Canada, stunning, stunning, stunningly beautiful. And so uh, I, I whisked her away there for, I think it was three days. And uh, and we just kind of we retreated and spent some time just together out there. Yeah, it was amazing. It was it was incredible. You know, there's I think a two kilometer beach and everything mm -hmm. and, and frigid waters. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, so that was that's how we celebrated in the middle of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, last question: Do you still get butterflies? Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah, we are still. I, I'm definitely. Uh, more in love with her than when than when I married her. Yeah. Um, yeah, completely. <laughs> and you know, like, because some people say, like, you know, oh, like, I remember when we were dating, mm -hmm. people were like, oh, like, you'll get over that. Like, yeah. you won't be, like, you know? Yeah. And, or then when we got married, oh, yeah, that won't last long. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? But we, <laughs> no, I, I, it's just our personalities, mm. I think, as well. Like, we yeah. just, yeah, we definitely still do get butterflies. There's sometimes, mm. like, I just, like, look at him and I'm like, oh, my goodness, like, so handsome and like um yeah I just yeah. oh yeah no I sometimes I just I just lie in bed you know after we we've kissed goodnight and and I just my heart feels like it's gonna swell you know like the Grinch is three times or whatever an overflow and I just I feel so so happy with my life and so immensely eternally thankful and it's just mm -hmm. it's it's having her that missing that missing puzzle piece that that bone of my bone and uh yeah, no, I I could not be happier. Yeah, um, I also I, think I that it's like her. we, you know, that's something that might not come naturally for couples, no. but it's something that we work on. Like it's something yeah. that you know we like we communicate, we keep our relationship alive. Like mm -hmm. we talk. We that was yeah. that was how we fell in love, mm -hmm. right? Like we knew we were gonna be married. We knew that we were each other's one, mm -hmm. but we had. We were friends. We became best friends. Marry your best friend. Well. Yes. Yeah. Well. 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> with conditions. If you want. <laughs> yeah, if you want, if you want. <laughs> you love them and stuff. Yeah. Okay, yeah, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Enough advice from us. Yeah. Um, yeah, I shouldn't, you know, I'm not the primary advice giver yeah. on this channel. Um, but yeah, no, we, what was I saying? <laughs> I lost my train of thought. I did too. <laughs> yeah, let me, let me oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that. no, we um <laughs> yeah, like we were best I was friends. Promise lasagna for tonight. <laughs> we were best friends and so we um we built our relationship on communication mm -hmm. and talking and yeah. so we still will get in bed at night and both be super tired but end up talking for another that's, hour. That's what I think it is. So like Marry somebody, you can be stuck in a car talking for, for 10 hours too or something. And that was, I think, the biggest thing for me is, like, I like to talk, which may or may not be obvious on these, you know, increasingly long videos. Um, I love to talk. I can talk the whole nine hours up to our... Yes, you can. Up to our vacation spot. And so when I met her and I got talking and I just realized, you know, you, you, you got to spend, what, 50 years with this person? You got to do a lot of talking and, you know, a lot of arguing a lot of celebrating a lot of talking so just you know find someone you can talk to mm -hmm. and uh and it just you know you never run out of things to say yeah that's um, true and so and i think that kind of establishes that uh, yeah love. so yeah no definitely still get butterflies sometimes it's moths sometimes it's caterpillars sometimes it's little worms sometimes it's it's, not, it's always butterflies okay <laughs> um yeah so is that it? Is that all the questions? All right, that's all the that's all the ones I think we're doing. Yes. Uh, you know. So we will answer the other ones on another video because I think we're well into like twenty minutes now. Yeah, it's gonna be future length. Soon. So, um, anyways, we hope you enjoyed just getting to know us a mm -hmm. little bit better. Um, and we will see you next time. Please comment, um, subscribe, and like if you enjoy this video. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.